Hi all, this is Luke here at Gardner Holgate Guitar Auctions um, in Corsham, UK. Um, I'm the auctioneer and head of department here, head of the guitar department at Garden Holgate. Um, today we're going to be looking at this 1962 Fender Stratocaster that's coming up in our next sale. Uh, this is going to be of interest to uh, those of you who are uh, possibly interested in bidding on the instrument to give a good condition overview. Um, or those of you who are just generally interested about vintage guitars um, and want to sort of see the inner and outer workings of such a thing. Um, we're not going to necessarily do a, a playthrough of the guitar, we'll do that at a later date. Um, but this guitar will be coming up on the 7th of December. Um, it's a three day auction on the 7th, 8th and 9th um, of December. Um, consignment uh, end deadline is the 11th of November, just in case any of you are interested in consigning anything to the auction. Um, but this will be one of the choice pieces coming through. Um, it's a good example, a uh, player grade example, as we say when things aren't necessarily 100% original. Um, if the main thing is the body refinish. Um, so this one's got a body refinish there, um, and there's a few other minor things like a, like a replaced nut there, um, and there's a few minor things internally as well, uh, but we'll get into those. Uh, this has been consigned by a gentleman um, towards the north of England. Um, we've got a collection of his things, um, including a quite a nice 1962 precision bass as well in similar condition to this one. Um, so we'll possibly do a video of that at a later stage as well. Um, the owner of this instrument, he bought it in 1986 and we even have, which I'll show here, um, there we go, the Melody Maker um, and there's the instrument circled there. So as we can see, Fender Stratocaster pre-CBS. I mean, it does say all original, but it's not. It has a refinish, uh, 1962 Salmon Pink plus case. Um, a lot of you have already noticed as well that the case is a, is a replacement. Um, it's a later Fender case. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's have a look at the instrument. As we say, there it is, lot 94 coming up in the next cell on the 7th of December. Um, and we'll take a look through. And then uh, we'll also pop a link to the listing the auction listing below um, and then we'll also put some other put some other links to things like our instagram account um, and our website um, but there we go you can follow us at guitar auctions on the instagram and on facebook as well we're also on twitter um, tiktok we use all the social media platforms we've got the two websites there our preview website um, and our main website as well so the full auction catalogue will be live uh, approximately three weeks before the sale um, but you will be able to see previews on the guitar preview site um, as well as on our social media channels we sort of uh, list entries every day so please do check those out so let's take a look so as we said earlier uh, we got a refinished body in the uh, sort of salmon pink i guess or fiesta red as we like to call it um, the finish um, i mean it is refinished hence the condition but it's still in pretty good shape uh, we've got a bit of wear through here whether that's been purposely done or not um, i mean i'd say it probably has been purposely done to be honest um, and <clears throat> as you can see if we look around in very good shape at all I mean there's not really any dings or scrapes I mean there's a few there's a few minor scuffs as we can see just in the light there but generally in good shape um, so finishing good condition um, I think we've got the right we've got the right shade of red as well um, for sort of the the custom color instruments as we can see and just looking at the serial plate there, um, 1962, so we're pre-L series. Um, so that's the serial, original serial number plate. Um, the neck's really nice on this one, actually. It's nicely worn in. Um, it gives that really nice smooth playing feel um, that, we, that we all like. Um, and really nice uh, profile. I feel they really got it right on sort of bang on 62. Um, really comfortable profile and this one's been nicely played in original finish on the neck as well um, so no high high gloss new finish or anything um, as you can see there's a few dings um, a bit of grime on there um, but generally good um, a nice bit of subtle figuring in the neck as well and then uh, as you can see the original tuners original tuners there uh, the single lines which are correct for the year 
And if we flip the guitar around to the front again, as we've seen the back now. <clears throat> so we've got the headstock there of the original decal. The original decal is nice and in shape, um, not much loss to it as well, which you tend to, you can occasionally find. Um, we've got a replaced nut there. Um, so that is a replacement, um, white plastic instead of the, instead of the usual type you, you tend to see. Um, and then the frets here, are, the frets here are pretty good actually. Um, they appear to be the original frets. Um, minor wear, but generally, generally good. They got a lot of life left in them, um, so good to go. We'll take a look at the treble side as well, because that's usually the side that gives away any anything like a refret. So there we go. You can see, just looking along, Brazilian rosewood fretboard. Um, and the all important thing, we've got a early 62. So as a lot of you will know, we are still in slab board territory there. So um, we'll take a look internally at this guitar where we'll be able to see the slab a little bit better. Um, but, it is a, but it is a slab board, um, which uh, seems to be a preference for and certainly more more of a collectability on those ones All of the hardware here is original as you can see um, We've got the green guard which is showing a few splits um, So we've got the split here, which is very very common um, in the screw by the neck pickup there um, It's just being so close and where the celluloid shrinks and pulls um, it can go that way, so we've just got a split there. We've also got a split in the corner here um, Otherwise It is generally good as you can see I'll just bring the guitar up just so we can give a good run down front to Bottom there top to bottom So as you can see there, nice, some nice subtle figuring to the neck there, uh, but generally in nice clean condition, nice player grade example there. So that generally covers the external aspects of the guitar, and we will take a look inside um, and see what we can find. So here's the internals, um, all taken apart, so we're going to delve in. Um, there we go, there's the array of screws there, um, there's the original plate, as we can see, <clears throat> original serial plate for the guitar. Um, so we're just taking a look around again inside, um, as we've already discussed, um, it's been refinished, interestingly, you can see the original pinhole there, um, full of paint, which it shouldn't be. Um, so that's the original pinhole from the original finishing technique. Um, there's usually three. Um, I'm sure we'll find another one down here. You usually find another one down here. Yeah, you can see one just there as well. And the, the other one's usually just underneath the jack plate here. <clears throat> so just looking um, inside in the uh, pickup routes, um, the first thing we notice is um, See if we can get some better light on this over here. There we go. So the first thing we notice here is uh, this, the worming route here. Um, it seems to have been enlarged slightly. Um, we're not really sure why, um, but it has been sort of uh, deepened. It looks a bit more square than it should be. Um, possibly to fit a, another pickup at some point, maybe. Um, but... Um, yeah, it's 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 odd anyway. I mean, you can still see some of the fiber routes and all the other all the other routes and cavities appear to check out fine, um, certainly for the year. Um, so that is one thing we have noticed. Um, so just a minor route there in the bridge pickup cavity, um, and then in terms of the other internals, um, we've got the original screening shield here. And as you can see, we've got the three original pickups um, with the wiring all checking out nicely. Um, and then we've got the original three-way CRL switch there. Um, so there's the original switch. Take a look from the other side as well. There we go. Now the 
main thing that most of you will probably have already spotted what I've been waffling on um, is we've got three change potentiometers cap and there is a blue wire there that's not original as well. Um, so all of these potentiometers, um, they're CTS 137 code um, and they date to uh, 1972 these ones um, so you may be able to make it out on the camera but possibly not um, with the Mexico stamp as well um, a lot of these uh, CTS potentiometers were outsourced to Mexico and we, we do tend to find in some of the early 70s vendors um, you can find these Mexico stamped potentiometers um, so they were replaced probably in 1972 or close to that date. Um, so they've been in the guitar a long time and you'll also see that that capacitor is not original. Um, <clears throat> so you've got the stripe capacitor there. Um, some of you will probably know the technical name for that capacitor, but there we go. Um, the capacitor not original to the guitar at all, not the usual disc, red disc capacitor we'd see. And then we've got the blue wire going through there um, that's also not original. Um, so in terms of everything else, um, electronically, um, so electronically okay apart from those three pots. Um, and then we'll just go to the neck here. Um, as we mentioned, it is a slab board. Uh, we've got the date there, the stamp date, um, nice and clear there. Um, we'll just get that in focus. So uh, 2 March 62B, um, so we've got the the profile there as well um, so nice strong and then you can see the slab board as well so nice thick slab board there um, which tends to be a preference for many um, so we changed the veneer later into 62 uh, most of the 62 struts we've handled tend have been veneer boards in fact um, so yeah there's a nice slab board there with a nice strong date stamp So that covers the internals. So we'll just uh, pop the guitar back together and then we'll come out and take a, take a look at a few other things. So the last thing to look at internally is the back plate, um, the spring cavity. So we can see there the uh, bridge block uh, checks out nicely. Um, and the spring claw as well, um, with the correct wire going in, um, the earthing wire there. So that all looks good as well. So there we have it, the 1962 Fender Stratocaster coming up in our next auction on the 7th of December. Refinished body as we say, uh, the change pots and the capacitor and the change nut as well on the minor uh, route in the bridge cavity. Um, so that's going to be lot 94 in the auction. Um, it will appear on the uh, preview catalogue soon. Uh, those of you who are watching this video slightly later, it may already be there. We've got the links in the description for the video. Um, please like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to be doing more videos like this in the future. Um, basically condition, condition videos for the more choice things here. Um, we're at Garden Holgate Guitar Auctions. We hold four sales a year, regular sales, um, and we tend to have anywhere up to 500 guitars um, and related items. Uh, so please check out our websites, um, bidding in the room and live online, um, which you can register to do so by our website. Um, and you make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook because we, we do daily updates of things that are coming in um, and you don't want to miss out on things like this coming up. Um, we also have a 1962 Stratton Sunburst coming in, um, which we'll do a video of as well, um, which is original Sunburst. Um, from what I can remember, it's all original because we have sold the uh, Sunburst 62 Strat once before, um, and it's got sort of uh, some uh, well-known guitar prov guitarist provenance on that one. Um, but this is the 62 um, that's coming up 7th of December, lot 94. Please do check it out, like and subscribe and come back for more content like this.